What I missed for one and the same, Draptor Onion. Back for more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and Explorers of Sky. Let's just get on with things. Chapter 10, Dusk, no Dusk Noir. Uh, the next morning. Up an atom, it's morning! Uh, it's been a while since we were woken up like that. Indeed it has been. And three! Smiles go for miles! Okay. Uh, let me get a drink of water. Pardon me, guys. Me, 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 me! Okay, Pokemon! I'm good to work! Huzzah! I imagine it's t that time to get out and back to our guild training, Claudio. Let's work hard at it. Right, no, that's what I like to see. Well, not a pep. Morning pep. Impressive. Let's see you put that pep to good use today. What? You can't identify the footprint? What, what do you mean? I'm trying to tell you. I can't identify what I don't know. And technically, it's not even a footprint. What's wrong? We have a Pokemon visitor up top with a footprint we can't identify. Diglett is an outstanding sentry, so it's right for him to be stumped by footprints. If those two were doing sentry duty, it would be no shocker. Who are you kidding? If Diglett, he, if Diglett here never gets stumped, what, what about when we first arrived at the guild? You guys couldn't figure out Claudio's footprint, right Claudio? Hmm? Say again? You want me, our guild master? Your name is Dusk Noir? Oh, please wait a moment. What? D Dusk Noir? The world famous Dusk Noir? Thank you for visiting. What an honor. No, no. Think nothing of it. The honor is all mine. There is no greater pleasure than visiting Wigglytuff's guild. It's f it is famous. Tell me, Laldred. What do you want? Th who's the visitor? What? You haven't heard of Dox Noir? The famous explorer? Yeah, well, maybe I... Okay, I admit it. I haven't. Well, that's no... That's not surprising, really. He's a new arrival on the scene. He came out of nowhere, like a comet. He's became famous almost overnight. He says Talon says an explorer are super, super exceptional. So, Dustnar is really so great? Yeah, he is most, some more good stuff than I heard. He's done things like anyone has done things unlike anyone else. First, he doesn't work on the team. He does it all his exploring solo. Alone? That's right. He's got to be pretty sure about his skills to do that. But what's more than incredible is wealth of knowledge. It seems that there is nothing in the world he doesn't know. That's how much he knows. Oh, wow. So he's really that smart. So the rumor goes, he uses his knowledge to succeed on many explorations so far. So many Pokemon revere Dustmire for his achievements. That's how I know the claims of, about his mining knowledge must be true. Does Dusknoir visit here often? No, this is his first time. This is why Diglett couldn't recognize him. I think the Guildmaster just met him for the first time too. Pardon? Then why is he being that friendly? Well, that's just how a Guildmaster is. Even if it's the first time he meets someone. I see. Well, we, that must have been quite a disappointment for your guild. Yes, it was. A, the expedition was a waste of time. Didn't learn a thing about anything. I had heard that Wigglytuff's guild was mounting an expedition to find Fogbound Lake. So I came here to hear about your latest triumph. Well, sorry, we didn't learn a thing. No, not at all. It's no trouble for me. Let me get a drink of water. Again. This gave me an opportunity to visit you. I plan to stay in Treasure Town for a short while. May I visit with you occasionally during my stay? Your guild seems to be receiving the latest news. Good information would be a big help on my expeditions. 
No problem. <laughs> Other exploration teams visit us all the time. You're always welcome here. Everyone, this is Dusknor. He's going to stay here in Treasure Town for a while. Mind yourself around him. Dusknor is very famous and quite knowledgeable. So I bet you... So I bet everyone would like to get advice from him. But let's not overdo it. We don't want to be a nuisance. Rah! Now everyone, our guest might be famous, but don't be embarrassed embarrass us by asking him for autographs. No, no, no. If it's autographs you want, I'm sure I can oblige. But information? I'm afraid you flatter me. I have very little, after all. However, I would be delighted if you were to be of, if I may be of service of you. If there's anything you wish to ask me, please don't hesitate. Yup, yup, great honor. Oh, I'm so glad to have met you. Ah, come up now, everyone. You're dismissed. I think I will go for a stroll in Treasure Town. Please, do feel free to approach me with anything. Good day. Oh, you too. I, I started saying earlier about your assignment today. Do the usual read-over job listings, and that will be it. All right, well, now that we... Oh, look, it's these guys. When will... Then we will find clues here, too. Hey, you two, do you have any news on Zero Isle? Zero Isle? Yeah, rumor has it that the greatest treasures are there. The treasures aren't the most fascinating thing about that place. When you go into that dungeon, everything... Everyone is temporarily dropped to level one, and their learned abilities are zeroed out. From what we've heard, you can't even take in items. Basically, you walk in alone as if you're an amateur ranker again. No expedition team has made it to the end yet. They're calling it the ultimate dungeon for good reason. Drapion! You talk too much. <clears throat> Sorry, my lady, Revile. Okay. Well, now that we... We can actually do a few things different around here. First of all, we can go back to the places we explored, such as Crater Ecos, Mount Horn, and Foggy Forest, Steam Cave, etc. Let's see. Who do we want? Let's pick up this Mount Horn mission. And... Oh, I'm not fighting an Aerodactyl, no. Canary, not fighting you. Rest Gastrodon. No. Shroomish? No. Let's just see what all we got. Uh, we'll do the Mount Horn mission, I guess. But I think we can show off a few new things around the Treasure Town since we've gone off on our expedition. But let's go into the here. I feel like doing that. Oh, look. Hello, Team Amory. We thank you for assisting us in capturing outlaws. Today I would like to help you search and apprehend Lotad. Can you assist me? Craigie Coast? Yeah, we can do that one. Thank you for your continued assistance. Yeah, you can get job lists, new jobs here. A Sneasel? I'm Sneasel. I'm a one Pokemon exploration team. I won't let anyone get in my way ever. I'm such a big fan of you, Sneasel. You're like my second favorite Pokemon. Behind, second behind Sceptile. Sceptile is still my favorite. Okay, but I would say that Sneasel is... Heck, if uh, all things considered, could be like a channel mascot for me. But let's... Oh, welcome back. Store. Pet check. Special band. Heal Seed. Thunder Wave TMs. Decoy Orb. I think that'll be good. Take out. And let's get these treasure boxes. Now that we are back in Treasure Town with them some of these boxes. We can now go to... Well, actually, let's let Loudred do it. Yo! I'm advertising for yet another shop today. That shop up from... down from there, here. Zatu is the appraisal... Zatu appraisal is the place. You picked up any strange bo tre treasure boxes in the dungeon? No. Ugh. Let me get a drink of water. Maybe that'll be the episode title. Have you two picked up any strange boxes and dungeons? You know, ones you can't open? 
because Atsu has the ability to pop up boxes open like that to take out whatever's inside. There's just one thing, he's a little weird. Anyways, if you find a treasure box and want to know open, go to Zatu. And here we are. Zatu appraisal costs 150 per box. We get a Monfur hair. This is a species, well, I, will, I call it species exclusive items. They are, ooh, and you get basically these exclusive items for a Pokemon or its evolutionary line. Like, for example, the Mon Fur Hair we got will boost a stat for not only Monferno, but also for Chimchar and Infernape. Furthermore, you can combine it with like a, another related item and get an even better item than that over at Krogunk's, Krogunk's shop inside the guild. Okay, we didn't really get any th items that we can particularly use. I mean, we got a Bidoof card that raises a special defense, and you can combine it with a Bidoof Tooth that raises to make an item that would raise both defenses. And then from there, you can actually combine it with, like, say, another Bidoof card and get another even better item that has a completely different effect. Most every Pokemon has an item like that. Let's see what we got for... Okay, we can buy... My cat is out the door again. I'm not letting her in. Okay, let's... Buy these, buy all these, store some apples. Two, three. And let's go to the, this place, yeah. And we're going to Fresh Juice Bar. Let's have a pink gummy for Claudio. Now this is a great place to have your gummies because they can have an extra effect like extra IQ boost or even stat increase, but not this time it looks like. At least we got an attack, we got, well, we got an attack increase. Did you hear happy news? Why not? Everyone's made a new discovery and we've upgraded the items. That means we have more variety recyclable items. Oh, and then you just discovery. Is a, ooh, a new area was filled. We can, ooh, landslide cave. Keep up recycling. I want to go there today, actually. Because there is a very nice, there's a, one of my favorite Pokemon, or what will evolve into one of my favorite Pokemon, lives there being Gibble. I want to recruit one. But let's first recycle some items. Like, we don't really need the Oren Berry. It only takes away like 10 HP. Get rid of that. We don't need all these Thunder Wave TMs. No, let's get rid of the Embargo TM as well. But, uh, I, lo I love Gabite and Garchomp. They're like my third favorite Pokemon in general. Alright, didn't win this lottery, but we get a consolation prize in the form of Max Elixir. That's fine. Alright, you know what? Let's see. I might... Just to get Ambelina or whoever I want. Yeah, let's add Ambelina to the mix. And then we are going to probably spend the rest of this episode hunting for Gibble to recruit. Landslide cave. Landslide cave. Here we go. Okay, welcome to Landslide Cave. I'm going to make sure I can, yeah, I can recruit Gibble here. I'm um, speeding up the video recording that I did by 250% because I was in here for a little while, but 
Uh, I'll, I, you'll get to see the whole experience. Basically, I run out of apples and I have to rely on orange berries later on to keep me fed. And keep climbing fed. And then we run into our first monster house. Where it has good items like black and, a black and white and gummy. And there's a... Ooh, don't, don't want that. But if we get... Monster houses, it's a crap ten Pokemon, but also some good items. There's also traps. And I should probably turn off Quick Attack and rearrange some of Kitsy's moves. But, uh, yeah, it wasn't easy, but you'll see what happens. Oh, we ran into a sledge trap. That turns your, usually turns your apples into grimy food, but fortunately not this time. It didn't, didn't seem to be, do that, and yeah. Oh, that, it ate the Reviver Seed, that's right. The Wormadams are really annoying here because they get Bug Bite, meaning they can eat any of your food items, including Reviver Seeds, Apples, etc. Which I think one does eventually eat the Apples, but if you're noticing, what I'm doing is putting... I'm holding down the A and B buttons uh, because that w just basically wastes your turn. And I'm doing it on even number of floors, particularly like, for example, I'm on fifth floor now because in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky, uh, male Pokemon will always spawn on the e odd number of floors, and females will spawn on the even number of floors, unless they're gender exclusive Pokemon. But aside from that, if they can have both genders, then they can. Uh, the males will always be on the odds, and the females even. I better turn off Quick Attack, and bite you. Dragon Rage, okay, that's dangerous, but not this time. Uh, yeah, and I want to try to get a male Gibble. I mean, I, it's not that I have anything against female Gibbles, I just think that the male looks a little cooler with the slit and the fin. We get Reversal, which I don't think I'm going to learn. No. Poison. Time to eat the se heal seed. Throw these iron thorns I've been picking up. Oh, no gibble. I, I, I'd say it's... If you stay on a dungeon floor for too long, you can also run the risk of the dungeon booting you out. Which, that is a very real possibility, but we, I don't think we ran into it, that issue this time around. But I also am exploring the dungeon a bit more now that the Wormadam ate my last apple. I want to make sure I can find food items, anything edible. Alright, nothing there. Eat the Wormberry and Melina. Good, alright. Alright, level 20. We, get, we, uh, we did get like a couple levels each. Sound floor. Might as well look around. Getting dizzy from hunger, that's not a good sign. Oh, thank heavens we found a Kegelon shop. So, I had just enough money to buy a clear gummy. So I went for it and ate it. And hallelujah, then eat the patch of berry too. Okay, go away, where am I damn? I need to use a max elixir too. I think that refills the belly some. Not a whole lot, but... Some. Just wait for Gibble. I might as well throw the Iron Thorn in. Oh, great. Getting dizzy from hunger again. Oh, crap. We ran out of belly. What basically that means is every time you take a step, you take a hit point of damage. And until you refill your belly with a berry or an apple, this time with berries, you're going to continue to have your HP go down. So, that is definitely a danger factor. But we made it to the ninth floor, eat the orange berry, regain health and get some belly. Eat the petcha berry for a little bit longer. No, I don't want you warm it down. Uh, okay, and there we go. We can get the gibble. I'm going to name him Waffle, and I'm going to get back to the live recording. <sighs> Not 
nom 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 eat I bet Claudio is really glad to eat right about now running out of apples sucks let's get some sleep too let's go hard at it tomorrow Claudio okay good night not quite done with this episode yet Steve, we really got to put it on place when that last expedition. Ugh. Ho ho ho. We could have tough left us. And now and there's no bat doubt. And now I'm not about to go. let it go. So humiliating. I need payback. One way or another. But, to be brutally honest, we don't stand a chance against Wiggly Duff. I'm so furious it's burning me up. Oh, there's going to be something we can do to get back out there. Yeah, Chief, I had sell for picking on wimps. So, hey, instead we would have while we take the revenge on the wimps in that team Emery. Ha <laughs> ha. Great idea. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Ha ha ha. Hey, we know that team Emery is wimpy. Time to do some plotting, boys. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, boy. Next morning... Open out them, it's morning. And I think I'm going to call that an episode today. Thank you so much for watching. Next time we'll continue on with the story. See you all then.